What cities are considered Metro Detroit, Michigan? And how much would it cost for you to live there? Metro Detroit, Detroit Metro, wherever you want to call it. It's kind of like Detroit, but it's not, but it is. If that doesn't make a lot of sense, it will when we're done because we're starting. <laughs> and if you want to move to any of these areas, let me know because I'm a full-time real estate agent and I've helped hundreds of people buy and sell all over the state. You can look me up or you can either comment or just Google me, you'll find me. I'm out there all over the internet. Okay, so according to Wikipedia, Metro Detroit is a major metropolitan area in the US state of Michigan, consisting of the city of Detroit and its surrounding area. Well, the problem with that is that that surrounding area is huge. I mean, it's massive. It, there's no real clear definition of what this zone is. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. When people say Metro Detroit, what they're really referring to typically is the Tri-County area of Metro Detroit. It's basically Metro Detroit's core. This zone ranks as the 11th most populated zone in the United States with over 3.8 million people, people. 3.8 that's that's a ton that's a lot that's a lot of people squished into this zone there's actually 83 counties in michigan and we're going to just focus on these three because they're actually the largest and they're right around detroit first up on the list is wayne county michigan there's over 1.7 million people in wayne county michigan and it includes cities like detroit livonia canton plymouth Gross Point, Allen Park, places like that. I can't list them all. That's a lot of places. The average home in Wayne County will set you back about $163,000. And we actually have an office here. So we have our Wayne County offices located in Livonia, Michigan. So if you wanna buy or sell in uh, Wayne County, let me know, I'm your guy. Next up on our Tri-County tour is Oakland County, Michigan. Population here is over 1.2 million. Well, that's still a ton. And we've got cities like Northville, Novi, Farmington, Farmington Hills, Bloomfield Hills, Royal Oak, Berkeley, Troy, all those cities, and there's more. Homes here have an average sale price of $283,000. So it's a little more expensive to live in Oakland County, Michigan. We also have an office here too. So I have an office in West Bloomfield, Michigan. So if you're looking in Oakland County, I'm your guy. Next up is Macomb County. Population here is about 173,000-ish. Not even into the millions but it's still, it's still a pretty big area. We've got Warren, Sterling Heights, Roseville, Utica, Mount Clemens, and the homes here are about $191,000 on average. I don't have an office here yet. Maybe I should. Maybe that's the, that's the third stop in the Century 21 row chain of offices. That'd be pretty cool, right? So what do you think are one of these the place that you would like to live? If so, let me know. Um, and while you're here, why don't you check out some of these other videos and playlists around here and I will see you there.